We've got chunks of tender salmon, some lovely veggies and pasta all pulled together in a light lemon cream sauce. Oh, and it's ready in 20 minutes. This is gonna be tasty. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family-friendly recipes. Now replacing some of the spaghetti in this recipe with courgette or zoodles is a great way for those carb lovers to cut down on the carbs a little bit without feeling like they're missing out. So let's get cooking. So first we're going to boil 250 grams of spaghetti as per the pack instructions. Now the rest of the recipe will come together while that pasta's cooking. And first off, we're gonna season the salmon. I've got three salmon fillets here and that'll feed my family of four. But this recipe is easy to scale up or down depending on how many people you're feeding. I've got three boneless salmon fillets and on that I'm gonna sprinkle an eighth of a teaspoon each of salt and black pepper. Now add a tablespoon of oil to a large frying pan and heat over a medium to high heat. Add the salmon to the pan skin side down and cook for three minutes until the skin is crispy. Then turn the salmon fillets over and add a small chopped onion to the pan. We're gonna cook the salmon with the onions for about three minutes until the onion starts to soften. Now remove that salmon from the pan and place on a chopping board. Don't worry that it's not fully cooked at this point. Add two minced cloves of garlic to the pan and cook for a further minute while stirring. Now add two tablespoons of white wine to the pan and let that bubble for a minute. Then add in five tablespoons of double or heavy cream. Give it a stir and turn the heat down to medium. Whilst that cream's heating through, we're going to remove the skin from the salmon and break the salmon into nice chunky pieces. Then add that salmon back into the pan with the cream to continue cooking. We're also going to add in the zest of a lemon and give it a stir. By now that spaghetti should be almost cooked. So into the pan along with the spaghetti, we're going to add in one spiralised courgette or zucchini, plus 85 grams or a cup of roughly chopped sugar snap peas. Stir it all together and just cook for a further minute. Now drain the pasta and the vegetables, reserving about half a cup of the cooking water. Add the cooked spaghetti to the pan along with the sugar snap peas, the courgette, the juice of about half a lemon and a couple of splashes of that pasta cooking water. Toss it all together with a set of tongs until everything is thoroughly combined and then we're ready to serve. Divide the pasta and salmon between bowls and top with some shaved parmesan, some freshly ground black pepper and a little bit of lemon zest. I also like to serve with a couple of lemon wedges. And there you go, a simple and quick weeknight dinner on the table in 20 minutes. I love a dish when you can get some fish and extra veggies into the kids too. And if you love this dish, I know you're gonna love my one pan salmon pasta over here. See you next time.